Yeah. Point. Well, the word on the grapevine. Go on. Is that you do have a bit of a business venture? <laughs> no, the word on the grapevine. <laughs> like we didn't discuss it two weeks ago. <laughs> no, no, no. They don't need to know that. They don't need to know, <laughs> need that. To know that. <laughs> my my sources told me. Your sources, yeah, yeah, fair enough. No, I like it. Yeah, I did start my own business. It's called And Pause. So you can you can uh, go check that out. Andpause.co.uk. And A N D. And then pause. P A U S E. But then it's dot, dot co dot UK. Like pausing like the TV or something. Yeah. Like stopping. Yeah. But the reason for and pause, so the, the whole business is corporate massages essentially, but and pause is more just like, you know, people wanting to take a break from work. Just, just zone out for a good like 20, 30 minutes and then go back to your work. Oh, the website looks good, man. Yeah. 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 I thought Aaron was going to rip into it because he didn't get to make it. <laughs> no, oh, no, did you no, make no. websites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my friends from school made it for me. His name's Ajay oh, Shah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were in the website game. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, done a good job. You can Warwick, he was one of the most famous names for it. Oh, really? Yeah, we, 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 it obviously wasn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> how times have changed, uh, Darren. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, how, how did you get into like the massage business? Man? It's a good question. So we actually got massages at work. So my current business part actually was my masseuse at the company so she was our therapist she's a trained osteopath and i was just laying there on the table one day and i was like why do more people not do this like whenever i tell my friends about it they're like it's so cool that you get massages and blah blah i was like surely there's a market for this more people must want it because who says no to a massage you know what i mean i was under the impression they came up to your like desk and just started like giving you a shoulder massage or something like oh, that you. actually is where there's not really a gap in the market so what you've just described is quite saturated a lot of companies provide like at the desk massages really yeah mate like in front of everyone else in the office yeah. i've never heard of this so they continue working they're typing away and they just start getting rubbed no, that's, <laughs> that's, weird. A mad that's, statement. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird i don't know how i'd feel if i was like you know making a sick new website and then someone just comes up behind me and in front of all my other colleagues as well. And like, yeah. You're already trying to publicize this website thing, isn't it? AaronComedy.co.uk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, links in the description. Watch out, Ajay Shaw. <laughs> Plot twist. Aaron has started the third wheel of home just to promote his website business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. So you, so you were having this massage. Yeah, so I was, and then I was you were just like... The table and I just, I had, Francesca's lovely. And I just had quite a frank conversation with her to say, why don't more people do this? Like, this is great. And then I put together a few documents to say that, you know, this is the revenue streams that we could go by. I can see this becoming quite large. And then Francesca was like, I've been wanting someone to like help me on the business side for, for a long time. Cause she's very good on like the, the health side and the, like, she, you know, she's, she's got a masters in osteopathy, but she's always been like on the business side. I don't really, you know, have the know how. So she kind of wanted someone to, to, to help with that. And then I kind of had the idea of expanding this to, to loads of different, you know, upcoming tech companies, you know, investment banks and, and, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we, we started the business together. That was in January, we incorporated. And then we were, you know, putting the website together and just getting a few bits and bobs together here and there. And then COVID happened, which is when, mm -hmm. um, you know, let's be honest, it's a business of touching people which you can't really do in a global pandemic. So um, yeah, that kind of uh, messed up the, the plan, but you know, we're still, we're still trying to figure out some virtual stuff. And then when everything opens back up, we'll start it right virtual back up. Stuff. How would virtual massages work? So, you know, like yoga sessions, hit sessions, like daily for the employees, okay. just to, you know, have like that half an hour or one hour a day of just zoning out and looking after themselves. Yeah. From your website, I'm seeing like, it's not just like massages. It's more of like a well-being, right. a health thing. I was wondering as well, like, you know, if you had like your own product range of like things that like massage you, like, you know, like a neck pillow that massages, yeah. et cetera. Like, don't you think that would be a good source of revenue if you haven't thought of that already? If you want, we can edit that bit <laughs> Aaron, out. you weren't <laughs> wrong when you said, hey, which is a hustle. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, 100%. We, we thought about that. A product line is something that we have in our roadmap about so nine to 12 months in. We're going to start having a product roadmap. Once we have enough following, then we can start to properly get some merchandise. So that is the idea. And then we'll have all of those products branded by ourselves. 
which will be good fun. Yeah, I, th- I think the brand's really strong as well. And pause. I think it's got a nice. Wait, hold on. We may need to work like out a brand deal here. You know, twenty five percent off by a third wheel. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you use the code. Use the code third wheel at checkout. I could just see someone coming up right behind Aaron and going. I go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then next, and then from now on in the podcast, it will be sat with like these neck pillows massaging or something like, oh yeah. And then we'll just be like promoting it all the way throughout. Yeah. Sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. So was like Francesca doing this? So this wasn't, was Francesca kind of like a freelancer? Yeah. yeah, almost? yeah. Hit the nail on okay. The head. So it wasn't like an in-house thing. At so yes, she's a freelancer, but it kind of became an in-house. Like, you know, she had her own, Whenever she'd come in, she'd get her own room. She'd turn the lights down, turn on some mood lighting, and then play some music. And then you have a proper table that you, you know, you, you lie down on, you take your top off, and you actually yeah. get a proper massage. That's where the gap in the market was. Like this getting at the desk massages or seated massages, that's quite common. But something where you actually take a proper pause, which is where the, com- the name comes into yeah. it, that's, that's more what we were going for. So properly for about 20 30 minutes relax and then go back to the work the massages at your work was that like your first experience with massage i don't think i've had a proper massage like that from what i can yeah. remember what you've just said is quite common and a lot of people think that you know massages are quite a privilege which is why we want to make it quite widely available yeah you know, there's, there's the reason why a company shouldn't be providing that like it, there's a massive shift towards mental well-being in the workplace now and I think that this is a great idea for companies to implement to hit those SLAs, those targets. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, you see, is there not like any health guidelines or anything you have to follow, like any paperwork or like around all of that stuff, including like her um, being hired in the company, all all of that stuff. That must be like hell to go through. Uh, yeah, kind of. But just because she's so she's she works independently, right? She's she's not an employee of the company. So she's free to start whatever business she wants related to it. Contractually, there is some red tape, especially when we go into the, these businesses for, for, for claiming that we have, you know, health benefits. There are certain things that we have to abide by. For example, every time a massage is done, the masseuse has to document what was done, whether or not, well, the employee, but, you know, from a medical perspective, the patient had any, had any niggling injuries or whatever that they, they tried to solve. Yeah. So let's, let's give a bit of a situation oh, here. Right. Say the third wheel blow up. Yeah. Which it will. And which we've got, will. which yeah. we will. When it will. Yeah. When we blow up and we've got a studio <laughs> and every, every week we have guests coming in to record their podcast with us. And then, yeah, maybe multiple in a week. And we, we feel like we can offer some benefits to the guest. Right. Like maybe before the recording or after the, after the recording. Yeah. And you think they could have a massage that would be beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> For the podcast for the yeah. guest yeah so now you're ringing up hamish right. <laughs> to like pitch and, pause <laughs> and why we should link up with ampause yeah. to like offer our, yeah, our guests yeah, yeah. what what are you saying I'll be like, <clears throat> Hello, is this hamish don't do that grunt because i don't know how i feel if you grunt like that on the <laughs> 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 hang up. Hello, is this hamish speaking Oh, oh sorry, I, I thought you, you were impersonating me. <laughs> I thought you were impersonating me again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. No, no, hey, she play yeah, Who is this? Hi, this is uh, this is Sammy calling from Anpause. I, I have a strong feeling you've probably not heard of us. But yeah, I probably at this point I'd end and block the number. I won't lie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do that. I do that all the time. <laughs> You're the typical prick customer. <laughs> not a prick customer. People just call me like about things. That oh no, say say you okay, know. Say, okay, so case, let's say Sam, let's yeah. say you know Sam Kit. You know. Yeah, Sam we know each other. case, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine, chilling. I thought, oh, hey, bro, how's well, it going? Well, <laughs> oh, go on. I hear you're uh, you're getting pretty famous now. This third wheel FM, I see it everywhere. I saw it on my feed. I see it on promoted social media. It's looking like it's a uh, it's a good gig for you. Yeah, now. So you're looking to also leech off us like everyone else. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Hamish becomes this distrusting person because he suddenly found fame. <laughs> what a joker. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, mate, how's your tiara? <laughs> yeah, I got a diamonds one. I got diamonds in it now. Oh, hey, Richie, oh. Richie. <laughs> yeah, man. Richie. Yeah. You're turning big. You're turning big. You speaking, of diamonds, speaking of diamonds and the good things in life, <laughs> how do you like massages? <laughs> I haven't had one yet. Um, so what, what, what can I do? What can you do? 
So essentially, uh, I've started a company recently, a little startup called Antpause, mm. and we're trying to we're trying to improve general mental well being in the workplace. So um, I thought that since since the third wheel FM is blowing up, you know, to attract some more high profile customers for you by customers, I mean people on your podcast. Maybe we could provide them some sort of some benefits. Maybe just to incentivize them. To yeah. Come so along. if we did that, yeah. To be honest, I'm thinking of like an application form on our website yeah, where it's like apply to be 